everyone. Here's the 97 3 ton 10 seer carrier base model condenser. I have a special one. It's about 75 degrees out here in these shorts, obviously. And it's um, 80 with the heat index and humidity. And it's not really warm in my house. It's about 70 degrees in my house. Um, and it's all dehumidified and everything. But I figure it's a perfect day to fire this thing up. It's a weekend and everything. Carrier will be firing up now. I'm just going to go crank the thermostat down a few degrees. Oh, by the way, please note that the unit shakes when it first starts up. I hope you can see that well enough. Oh, I'll be back. Don't touch anything. You can put crap in there? fired right up as usual what would you expect uh, with the carrier man there's the condensate train I read it sounds just like it always did perfect unit blades actually the camera's not aborting them like it usually does um, they're, they're spinning oh wait no they're spinning this way and realize they're spinning clockwise and the camera it appears they're spinning counterclockwise. It's a quiet unit. You know what? Um, it hasn't had its spring cleaning yet. But uh, last year, when I first fired it up, it was not uh, this quiet. This is very quiet, especially for this unit. It's usually quite loud. I mean, it's just a base model condenser. You have to remember a terrible install that this thing has, you know. Got it with the carrier. Copeland reciprocating compressor fired right up. Model number 38CKC 036320 3 ton uh, R22 hydrochlorofluorocarbon. And um, serial number is 2396EO6884. So the, or, I messed up. 2397EO6884. So it's from the 23rd week of 1997. Why did I say 96? <laughs> That unit's quiet. I, I went, when I walked over here, coming out of my house to see if it had started up or anything, uh, I didn't hear it at first until I walked like right in front of it. And I'm like, oh no, did the carrier not start up? I didn't want to have to mess with it or anything. Here's the back of it. The line starts. The liquid line's already sweaty and cold. It's not iced up though, it's cold, it's sweaty and cold. And then, uh, then up here, yeah, it's very quiet now. Ah, holy cow, that uh, almost sounds like it has a scroll in it because it's that quiet. I'm about 15 feet away. Um, I hardly hear it. Let's go take a look inside at the uh, thermostat and, uh, Gas furnace, the Lennox two stage high efficiency, variable speed, 75,000 BTU gas furnace from 2005. Uh, yeah, three ton system. And yeah. Basically it. Very quiet. I'll be back. Degrees Fahrenheit? Cool. Present setting 65. Fahrenheit. And uh, let's get some temperature reading. Oh, that's cold. That's ice cubes. Uh, it was 52 before. 51. That's perfect. What was that?
Yeah, that was my dumb brother in the background. Reading about the same. What's our return temperature? Sixty-six. It's about room temperature. So 66 minus 51 is 15, so that brings our delta T to about 15. Then if we go down here, okay, into the finished part of the basement, which is conditioned. This one's about 55.3, and then this one's about 51. This is right by the air handler. This one's about 62 return, closer to the furnace. And there's the furnace. Oops, let me flip on the light. That's better, isn't it? The next Elite Series, two-stage variable speed, 2005 gas furnace. That carrier's putting out some ice cubes already. Wow, that's amazing. And that liquid line, or the suction line, the liquid line's room temperature and the suction line's in Armaflex. That's wonderful 24 volt work. Especially right there and there. Ooh. That's original. Ooh, that's thrilling, that's thrilling, thrilling, thrilling. Okay, I'm gonna go back out to the condensing unit in a minute. Oh yeah. Just one last thing of it running. Uh, I have more videos of it running, we like it. Pretty chilly, so it runs a lot. Okay, go back to the condenser now. Out. I'll be right back. Man, it is hot out here. Stuffy. There it is. That's about 93.5 fan output. And then, uh, Come on, get the, the return it in. It's colder than that. Maybe it isn't. Okay, it got about 78 on the intake coils, and then about 93 output. Condensation isn't pouring out like it usually does. Okay, the suction line, uh, the, the liquid line is room temperature, and the suction line is already sweating. What would you expect with a carry man? That's what I always say. All right. All right. Holy cow. That's why. It may not have the most pleasant of all installs. But man, that thing works like a dream. Man, oh man. Very quiet. Well, there's no condensation dripping out. I'm not sure if you could hear the Lennox running. There's how off tilt it is. It's kind of rattling a minute, a little bit, but it's so quiet I don't really even mind. Okay, let's go. About 30 feet back. That's it. It's right up there. Oil damage right there. Oh, I'll straighten it out. Here we go. Shut it down now. Sad. Oh well, we'll get another video of it running. It's supposed to be hot this week. By hot, I mean I fire up my AC when it's, it's about 78 out. 75 out, so there's an exception, but that's the first heat, like really when it gets warm of the year. And it, I hope you noted that the unit shook when I first started it off. about 94. Okay, I'll be back. Right back.
Sorry, that thermostat had a little bit of a delay there. Sorry about that. Blades take forever to spin down. And it's still a little bit warm. Yep, fan motor sort of warm. It's about, it's not that, it's 75.3 out here now. That's what it was reading longest of. That's where my outdoor res weather station takes the temperature over on this side. Blades are still spinning. Okay, totally spooled down. It took a long time for it to spin down. Running quieter than usual. The 3 ton 97 carrier. I will have plenty videos of it. I just thought it was a perfect day today to w wake it up. It's a beautiful spring day. A little bit too warm for me, but I mean, just all of a sudden. I mean, because the other day it was about six or 50, um, 50 to 55, and uh, today it's 75, 76 degrees with a heat index of 80. So that was kind of warm but it works fine now. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my special video. Mm. It's probably not good to do that. Uh, over and, oh, I'm just bored. Over and, uh, well thanks again. Uh, please subscribe, comment, rate, uh, over and out.